It's Fix a Leak Week, and we want you to feel empowered to be able to repair your own drip, whether you're in a residential landscape or a commercial landscape. Fixing drip irrigation leaks is very important because over time, that soil is going to erode and that water will run off. And we don't like to water concrete here, so we definitely want to fix that drip line before it becomes an issue. One of the ways that you could identify a drip leak is just by listening. It definitely sounds like you're frying chicken. So let's take a listen and see what we find. Oh. Sizzling. So now that we have a pretty good idea of where the leak may be, we're gonna go ahead and uncover it. There it is. If you see here, this is a busted emitter and this busted emitter has to be replaced completely. So we have some drip line for that. This is exactly what we're trying to avoid and why we want to fix these leaks. Before you try to repair your drip irrigation system, definitely turn the water off. Repairing your drip is purely dependent on where on the drip line the break is. In this case, the drip line is broken right at the emitter. So what we'll have to do is get the spacing just right to just replace the emitter and place two couplings on each side. What we're going to do is just prep our drip line by cutting it. You could use one of these that is specifically made to cut drip tubing, or you could just use a regular pair of pruners. So I got my emitter here. I'm gonna line it up with my broken emitter, and then I'm gonna use that as my guide when I cut. So I'm cutting the broken tubing and cutting my replacement as well. I'm gonna cut again. Use the end of whatever tool you choose to kind of stretch this area out for your coupling. The one that you replace, that's gonna get the coupling first, just to make it easier. It doesn't have to go all the way through, but at least get over that groove. So if you could see, we left a little bit of space here in order to stick our coupling in. And after we stick our coupling in, we're going to cut that excess in order to leave just enough space. That is the number one mistake that people make, that when they bring it together, they didn't leave enough space. You see, we have a little bit of excess, so we're gonna cut right at this line so if it's nice and snug. Perfect. So now all we have to do is press it in. So we are able to fix our emitter just by adding two couplings and a little bit of drip tubing. 